Welcome to the Drone Camps channel. If you are a new pilot, you're aspiring to be a brand new drone pilot, this video is for you because this drone from Hi Singy is a drone that you can start out with flying line of sight. I always recommend that on the channel and then move up to FPV. And this one's called the Firefox EX. Again, this is from Hi Singy. This version comes with a transmitter inside the box and you have the option to upgrade the FPV camera on the front of the drone later. All you have to do is buy your camera, plug it into the drone and take off your camera cover and you're ready to fly FPV, which is pretty cool. So in this review today, it is a review. We're gonna go over this drone together. I'm also gonna give you a mini drone camp for learning to how to fly FPV later. It's just gonna be in your head once you start flying with the transmitter. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Let me show you what's inside the box. Let me show you how everything works. And then we'll go ahead and do a flight test with the Firefox EX edition. Here we go. Okay, so there is the box that you get. It is $59 for everything in the box, the drone and the controller. And this is the drone itself, the Firefly EX. It has prop guards that go all the way around. And what's cool about this little drone is that everything on here is modular and you can take things on and off. You can replace these frames on the top part. You also have a little bind button right here on this drone, but this one already came paired up with your high seeing controller. So you don't have to worry about pairing it up. It's already paired up for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's fly this little Fireflox EX. Let's go ahead and start with the bare basics. What you're gonna do first is go ahead and turn on the transmitter, push in the battery, and you'll see it start blinking. And again, you're gonna take this throttle stick on the left, up and down, and now it's bound and ready to take off. So we're gonna go ahead and take it once we have it initialized and the gyro is nice and level. Press that calibration gyro switch there again. It'll go back to red and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and take it over to the ground. And I recommend always kind of launching from the ground when you're inside the house because a lot of times if I launched off a table, sometimes it could fly up and hit the ceiling. So we'll go ahead and do the auto takeoff and you'll be surprised at how, com how quickly it comes up and stops. And there it is. And while it does have altitude hold, it doesn't have position hold with a little tiny sensor on the bottom that we call optical flow. Now, if I wanted to go back down and land, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna press the land button here and watch it land itself. And it should turn the motors off completely. When I wanna take off again, if I wanna do a manual takeoff, I can take these two sticks right here, down and out to the side, back to the center. And now you have a low idle, push that throttle stick and it'll come right back off the ground. So one of the best advice that I can give you for learning how to fly this is we're gonna do a mini drone camp real quick. And the first thing that we do in a mini drone camp, it's called a square circuit. And you're just gonna go to the right Imaginary position number one, imaginary position number two, using the right stick only, imaginary position number three, and four, and back to your original point right there is a complete square circuit. Now, for your first and your very first battery, before you do any left stick input, and this is called yaw, before you do any of that, get into that, you wanna practice hovering in one spot out in front of you. Just fly maybe one whole battery and you can create a little kind of imaginary space on the ground below you, or you could put a pillow and just try to kind of hover over top of that pillow. Here we can go, we can walk over here and we can grab a pillow and come on back, I'm flying it with one hand, see? The altitude hold works pretty good. So now we're gonna go ahead and set our pillow down. I'm gonna fly over this pillow and I'm gonna to try to just keep it in one spot over the pillow. So hovering in place is kind of a, a, a talent that RC helicopter pilots try to learn first. And if you're a kid or you're just starting out RC, this is a great thing to practice. It seems kind of boring, but it is actually pretty challenging to keep the drone over the pillow because without optical flow on the bottom of the drone, it will start to drift like it's kind of skating on ice. 
So once you get the hang of that, you can work on your square circuits. And now we're gonna move on to square circuit number two. So number two is just go in the opposite fashion. We're gonna use only the right stick. Number two, number three, number four, stop. Number five is home point. So we did another circuit, but in the opposite fashion. So the next thing we're gonna do is called a, a circular circuit. Using the right stick only again, we're just gonna fly up and around and then back to the home point right there. So fly out, try to go a little wider this time and using the right stick only and back to center. Isn't that cool? You can fly a drone with one stick. You really can. So we're gonna go, let's go the opposite way this time. Okay, almost hit a, a, a plant right there. Okay, so do it both ways and see how it comes back up to level. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So we just go really quickly around. And so now you've done some circular circuits. Now, when you're coming back to yourself, be careful that you don't fly into yourself because these props can definitely get stuck in somebody's hair or maybe hit your finger. Okay, so now we're good with that. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to fly nose in and that little blue piece of plastic in the front. This is pretty hard. This is way harder than it looks, okay? So everything becomes opposite now when you're flying nose in. Left becomes right and right becomes left. If you push forward, it comes at you and push forward toward you and it goes away from you. So learning these opposite controls is very similar to like RC cars. When an RC car is coming at you, and you're steering right and left, your steering gets backwards. So if you can learn how to fly a nose in, this will help you become definitely a better FPV pilot. So now we're gonna play with the yaw. You're gonna spin that drone around and bring it back to you using the right stick. Now we're gonna try forward flight with yaw incorporated. So now we're gonna fly both thumbs at the same time. So we're gonna, first we're gonna turn the drone to the right and push forward on the right stick. We're gonna to go toward the window. We're gonna slowly give it some yaw left. It's gonna turn it back around toward us. Now push the right stick forward and it comes back to you very slowly. Now spin the drone back around to the rear. Whenever the drone's rear is facing you, right is right and left is left, forward is forward and back is back. It's always the same like that. But once you get spun around, if you're flying with yaw, on the left stick, left and right here. That makes it confusing. If you get way out across the room, you do have an emergency stop button. So say you thought you were gonna fly into the curtains or fly into something that was really gonna harm your drone or someone else, you can hit that emergency stop switch and it just drops out of the air just like that. Now you've got these blinking LEDs and you have completed your first circuits. So now at this point, what you can do is you can go ahead and take off and do some simulated FPV. This is a lot of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the auto takeoff button. And look at that, automatic takeoff. So we did take off with the nose facing us. So whenever you take off, make sure the back of the drone is facing you. Cause when you go to use your controls, this is a huge tip. You have everything opposite if the drone is facing you. So whenever you're flying your drone, make sure you take off with the rear facing you. That's a huge tip. So now let's go ahead and do some forward flying and sort of simulated FPV. And this is sort of what it will feel like if you're in the cockpit before you have your camera on your drone. You can just fly this guy around like this and practice simulated FPV. This is gonna be a whole lot of fun once you get your goggles and you get your camera on here this is what the fun is all about right here so now you're incorporating the yaw and the roll pitch and the throttle at the same time see now you're using two thumbs at this point and now you know how to fly your drone pretty well so now you can start free flying around and when you see that red light start to blink that means that your battery is pretty much done at this point and you need to recharge it or put the next battery in that is pretty cool 
Now, once the battery gets all the way to the bottom, it'll do an auto landing. If your batteries die in your radio also, it'll also auto land. So if we turn this off, this radio off, watch what happens. Simulated fail safe right there. The drone should come back down to the ground and land itself. So it takes a second, but once it fail safes and there's no radio connection, it will land itself. The same thing with a low battery status. Before it tears up the battery or burns up the battery, it'll land itself on low voltage landing. Pretty cool. Okay, so when you land, you'll feel that these batteries get a little bit warm. Go ahead and let that one cool off before you start charging it. Set it to the side. I'm going to grab another battery here because I want to show you one more thing, a couple more things that this little drone can do. So we're going to go ahead and make sure it's flat. Push up, push down, and now it's armed and ready to take off. But we want to calibrate the gyro again. Let that calibrate. Go back to red, and now we can go ahead put it over here and we can play around with a few more modes that it has. It has something called headless mode and it also has auto flips. It's the speed mode over here, flip over here, and it also has circle fly. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do the auto takeoff. And now we have that new battery in here. And typically I don't do a lot of flips and stuff in the house because it just feels like it's, uh, it's maybe not uh, the greatest thing to do in the house. Let's go ahead and do a, a manual landing. Push all the way down with that stick. And the reason that I, I landed is I noticed that it was drifting to the left. So don't use your trim switches. Use your gyro calibration button there. So uh, that will give you a more level flying copter. And we say copter, we used to call them copters, but see now it doesn't drift as much to the left, but it still is kind of going to the left. So we're gonna go ahead and test out some of those modes now. And the first mode we're gonna test is the flip mode. If you press this flip mode on the top and press the right stick to the direction you want it to flip, it'll do that. So flip to the right, now flip to the left, flip forward, and finally we're gonna do a back flip. And yeah, it'll get close to the ceiling there, so watch out. But it does do a pretty tight flip, so you can flip it inside the house. You might want to ask your mom if you can do that first. Pretty cool. So it will do flip in any direction. Automatic flip. Look like I know what I'm doing. You want to make sure no one else is around when you're trying to do that if you're in the house. Uh, same thing for outside. Make sure your brother and sister are way away from this thing. And of course yourself, other people. Now we can do circle fly, but we might hit something. Okay, that's pretty cool. So circle fly works just like that. Hit the circle fly button. It'll do automatic orbit mode. If you think you're gonna hit something, go ahead and press the button again, and that'll take it out of circle fly. So if you think you're gonna hit the TV or the, <laughs> the blinds or anything else, go ahead and get out of that mode. And it does about a six to seven foot circle. And there it is, hands off, doing the orbit mode. And I can come stand in the middle of it if I want to, if I'm crazy enough. That's pretty cool. So it took itself out. It's not because it saw me. It just decided to stop the mode. So now we can play around with headless mode. Now it's in headless mode. And if we pull the drone back to us, if we pull back, no matter which way it's spun around or facing, it's always going to come back to us. Pretty neat. And that's headless mode. See how it goes out that direction if we push? So this can help you get back to home. If you get way out there outside and your drone's gonna fly into a tree, you can click on the headless mode option. Now I can get out of that mode just like that. Okay, so now I'm out of headless mode and I'm gonna come over and do my auto landing. Press this button right here and it will automatically land to the ground. Eventually to the ground and stop. And there we go. 
Okay, so now you've done your first mini drone camp. We flew around the living room together and I showed you some of the flight modes that this little Firefly EX has. And I have to say, it's pretty cool. It's $59, so it, on my channel, a lot of times we say it is what it is. It's not some super high quality, high grade FPV drone that you're going to uh, do professional videos with or anything like that. It probably would fly a miniature type of HD camera if you set it on the top like this and you were kind of use some 3M VHB. You could probably make some pretty cool videos and we should probably experiment with that. But for $59, it'll get you started flying FPV and it just makes it kind of an easy no-brainer gift for uh, maybe a kid or a teenager who's interested to move that direction and kind of wants something that can be sort of modular. So you can change up the frame. You don't need tools to really pull the whole thing apart and swap out colors, uh, prop guards, replace the props. There's no bolts on the props. So they just push on. You just have to make sure that the right one is on the right motor. One thing that I wish was maybe a little better about this one is I wish it was brushless motors. Uh, they're not, they're brushed motors. You can see these little silver motors right here. We call those brushed motors. And while those aren't as powerful, they are cheaper to replace. So they last not as long as a brushless motor, but they're cheaper to replace. So I, I think that's kind of the uh, crux of the brushless versus brushed phenomenon. But for inside indoor flying, it's that's totally fine. Once you get out in the backyard with it too, you're going to find that when you go into the higher speed mode, it will fly pretty quick in the backyard uh, with the FPV camera on board. So you can fly indoors or outdoor, FPV or no FPV, and it's easy to repair and fix. And what's cool about this one too is it has an option to upgrade the transmitter later. So if you think this thing kind of looks like a little bit rinky dinky, um, that's okay. You have an option on their website to upgrade this one to a nicer transmitter with a little less buttons, uh, not as many flip mode functions and things like that going on there. Uh, and you also have the option to add FPV goggles on 5.8 gigahertz, which is pretty much the standard for FPV. So if this video helped you, please subscribe on the channel for more drone videos, drone news, tutorials, and reviews. And I'm going to show you more cool new stuff coming out in the drone industry. It is a great thing to follow. So subscribe on the channel. Take care, guys. And I will definitely see you on the next one.